Bell's post has really been triple threat now. On death. Gregory Ironman. Lots of players here. I know we saw some. Freelance. And maybe how he's re rehabilitating his image in Chicago, a place that for a while he's been a bit of a pariah. You're right, KML. We've seen Gregory Ryan just totally transform as a late. And Gregory Ryan originally scheduled to be in our scramble match, but had to do a little bit of shuffling today. I happen to go to Tories because Gregory Ryan was late. It, it, maybe there was a mishap also with his. Uh, with his gear, he doesn't seem to be wearing his normal. Let's oh, see. <laughs> As you might notice, I'm not wearing my usual attire. I've had some travel issues over the last couple of days. And quite frankly, I was embarrassed to come out here. But luckily, I inspire a lot of people, and it's going to be okay because Daddy took care of me. What you talking about, God, Daddy? What the hell does he mean, Daddy took care of me? <laughs> Uh, All hail so tonight, don't call me Gregory Iron, you can call me Little Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> little Daddy, huh? That's what we're going with, Little Daddy. Throw it, be honest. We all know that Little Daddy. I mean, Gregory Iron is... Good looking man. Gregory Iron is making those trunks right now. Bag one to ten. How does it feel? Oh, I love it. I gotta tell you, I can't imagine what it would do for me to put them on. Yes, I know. Do you want to try them on? <laughs> I mean, apparently Effie is giving them to anyone and everyone. So if Effie offered you his tights, absolutely. Do you know? Absolutely not. You know how many different men have been in those trucks? Yes. 
Dave Turner. Dave Turner easily, easily 80 pounds of just straight muscle size advantage over his two opponents. Turner's about 240, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see, I mean, both Cole, sorry, both Kogar and Iron. He was announced at 260 tonight, but it changed the entire dynamic when it's when the, the mismatch is so drastic. Waist lock. Kogar trying his best. Getting dumped to the outside. Turner actually using a bit of finesse in order to extricate himself from that situation. Kirby Iron, though, has an overhand shot and then a knife out shot. You know he has an agitated left hand. Oh, I didn't think that was the best strategy for Iron and obvious. Military press position. Able to get himself out of it though. Ducks that line. Lands that short point knee. And that's what Gregory Iron's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to use momentum, go as fast as possible. Wow. Wow. Head scissors. Look at little daddy go. I refuse to call Gregory Iron little daddy. I mean, just did. As Gregory Iron shoots off in the corner. Dave Turner though recognizing. The black sheep. Multiple shoulder blocks. Throwing shoulders into the abdomen of Gregory oh, Iron. Jesus. And then slams him down. I mean, there's an intensity to Dave Turner that is like, that's evident. This moment you see him walk through that curtain. Gregory Iron, though, has had a bit of a bad week. I mean, initially scheduled for a speaking engagement. Head scissors. That canceled. Losing his gear. That's the forearm. Having to borrow gear from Effie, and now to be in the ring with Dave Turner, this may be one of the worst weeks ever as Gregory Iron and as the Kogar are working together. Cover, wait a oh, second. Cool Very brief. <laughs> Very brief. Dog style line. That's the forearm. And so, did you notice how you were saying all of that? It was juxtaposed with how well Gregory Iron is doing. Gregory Iron right. is in control right now. Back, Shenton. Goes for a pin here. Second pin attempt of the contest. Love the body positioning there from Gregory Iron and hooking the leg. Very determined look on Gregory Iron. Brilliant Baithful firmly behind Gregory Iron. Oh, misses that splash though. Kogar blocks that shot. Oh, oh, oh. Hits the Little daddy got his hair parted the other way. Shoulder block. Has him up, rolls him through. Hits the basement super kick. Absolutely flush. That might have knocked him out. I two may have. And three. Gregory Iron at the last moment able to kick out. But I mean, that was completely flush on the, on the basement super kick. And then some. Kogar representing Ohio, trained by Ricky, Ricky Shane Page. Shane Page. Saw some of the striking, striking that we're come to be very familiar with from RSP. Reversal there. Back elbow lands. Oh. Rolls through. Kogar showing his athleticism. Oh, Jesus. From, a, from absolute nowhere there. Turner just tosses Gregory Iron. Like he's a mosquito, like a fly. I think Dave Turner has oh, Kogar geez. and Iron right where he wants them. The black sheep. <laughs> Absolute power out. I think he's trying to press them together into one person. I think that would be, I mean, it would make it easier for him, right? To <laughs> Back to the military present. Get the position. victory. Remember, oh, slam in the outside say last time. I mean, that's, I'm sorry, I'm just all discombobulated here. Beautiful military press position to the outside, knocking both men together. I mean, how far was that drop, came out? What would you say? Probably 13, 15 feet? I was going to say 10, but 13 might be more accurate. Yeah. That's Turner now. Right to the ring post. Seeing Kogar for the second time. Dave Turner, though, impressing in his debut, just ragdolling both his opponents as now he's using that rope to his advantage. Was that bit triple, triple that was coming out of the mouth of Gregory Irons? Quite possibly could be. Oh, 
forearm shot that floors Gregory Iron. He's taking some big shots tonight. Big shots and big collisions. Little Daddy is absorbing a lot of punishment right now. Who? Little Daddy, Gregory Iron. Gregory Iron. Delayed variation here. As Turner is holding on to that suplex. Lands it. I mean, this is his prime opportunity. Togo's on the outside. Gregory Iron's on the canvas. I mean, this is Dave Turner's opportunity to get the one, two, three. You know, he's doing a little bit of a showcase right now, KML. Normally, I wouldn't like that strategy, but he wants to impress freelance oh. management. He's out taking out all the stops. Kogar able to break up that count. But you see how effortlessly he had that maneuver? I mean, he may have just angered Dave Turner. Some fierce. Inside out on the lariat there. I love the way Turner is just stalking about in the ring. I was just going to say, we haven't seen him move very fast at all. Well, that I one mean, flash corner, yeah. but not, he hasn't been pursuing these two men. He's letting them come to him. It's very smart. That's a very good point. Conserving energy is definitely something we've seen quite a bit. This contest from Dave Turner. Turner now, that lug on the back of the back of Togar. And again, when you're talking about a difference of 60 to 80 pounds, I mean, that's that much more coming down the back of your neck, that leg. And all the way in that second rope. I mean, we knew that Dave Turner had attempted to be to be savage, but he is. Uh, this is an excellent performance so far in this contest. But he's got to capitalize. He's got to get the one, two, three after dominating as much of the contest as he already has. Dave Turner making his friends and, and family back home in the Pacific Northwest very proud. They have to be very happy. Oh, Mr. Right Flash, now, Calvin Curie. This is Kogar's <laughs> opportunity to start building some momentum here. And the double knees to the chest there. Love this series right now from Kogar. And we're going to have to hit a bunch of high impact maneuvers on a turn to keep him down. We know the size difference. Darks that, lands the forearm. Gregory Iron, though, wanted to get back in here, get him some of Kogar. Catches the boots. Uh oh, wait a second, Dave Turner. <laughs> oh! Nab German. I like that from Kogar using the rappel from Turner. And the anticipatory skills there. How about that? Wow. I Moon mean, salt. Iron was just hanging there. Cover. Gregory Iron, though, catching wow. on it, too. Two the and three quarters. Of little daddy. I mean, showing this resiliency, we've talked about how difficult the week he's had. He could have easily said, you know what? This isn't my week. I'm not going to kick out. I'll fight another day. But Gregory Iron showing his resiliency with that kick out. Something tells me tomorrow morning he's going to say, man, enough of this week. Pass me the Advil. As Kogar now. Back elbow by Little Daddy. The Freeland Faithful getting behind Gregory Iron right now. And a boot as well. Gregory Iron might be looking for that handicap parking. Let's see if he can hit that flatliner. Oh, went for the head scissors. Dogs the line. Hits the DDT. Spikes him on his head. Noticing Dave Turner getting back in the ring. That's the, that's the veteran experience that Gregory Iron has. Iron now going to the top. Dave Turner in a bad, bad position. Middle rope. Bent the elbow to the back of the neck. Falling up with the cover. I like this. Hooking the leg. Turner kicks out at two, though. Junior referee Sam Meadowood. Dave Turner in a precarious position moments ago. Gregory Iron, though, building some momentum. Trying to rally the freelance faithful. Trying to capture this elusive victory. Knife at chop. And a second one. You can hear the thuds from the balcony here at the Logan Square Auditorium. Oh, Jesus. Yes, I those spine buster. <laughs> I think he busted my spine just by the look of the impact. Just ragdolling Koger on top of Gregory Iron. That was a double impact. Lands that splash. I'm telling you right now, Dave Turner doesn't even need anything big. He just needs to isolate one of these two and go for the pin. A lot of high impact in this contest. It's the splash. Middle rope. 
Oh, that foul come again, once again. Greg Yarn gets cracked right on the tip of the chin. That back elbow almost put him in the front row. I don't know what was worse than that or the basement super kick. Dave Turner with Byron's carry position. Kogar with ease. Walking him down. I, I think Dave Turner's trying to pick both men up. Oh, Good wow. Lord. The strength of Turner. Oh, my God. One, One two, two, and three. Wow. Both wow. men kicked out. So exact. Talk about how <laughs> impressive that beat was. Dave Turner just dropped Atticus and Gregory Iron right on their head, and both it took both men to kick out. Otherwise, uh -oh. Dave Turner was going to pick up the victory here. <laughs> Top rope, Turner, and they had to kick out from underneath Turner. Gavin <laughs> Geary, that might have been the, that might have been the first mistake Turner has done in this contest. I mean, Turner going to the top rope. I mean, he's been in firm control from the mat this whole contest. I don't think he needed to go to the high red district. I think Kogar and Iron are about to hit the high impact maneuver on the Turner that they've been looking for this entire contest. Turner, though, was able to at least fight off Iron. Now he fights off Kogar. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> Turner. <laughs> the black sheep's going to fly. Empty oh. pool. Nobody home. <laughs> Turner misses the splash. All three men down. I mean, we are certainly at a critical juncture in the triple threat match at Freelance 50. Shining Wizard. I think he cracked Turner right on the skull there. And ejected him from the ring. Ooh. Iron was looking for that handicap parking. Atticus is holding on to the top rope, and he couldn't get it. Oh, half and half. But Gregory Iron is back up on his feet. What the hell? Pure adrenaline right now from Iron. Challenging Kogar Ducks. Slips it. Handicap parking. Parking. Cover of one, two, and three. three. That's it. Wow. Things are looking up for old Iron. All we needed was a trunk change, and all of a sudden, Gregory Iron has his first victory in freelance wrestling in a singles contest. I feel good for old Gregory. I mean, things are looking up for him. After a horrible week, able to pick up the victory. But if he's looking to buy those trucks for good luck, he can get in line behind me. Zach Sterling. This is an omen for things to come later on tonight because our showcase tag team contest between Onyx Aspen versus I can Well, I mean, if it's a precursor, those trunks are pretty lucky, and Gregory Iron may want to give those trunks back to Effie. Bit of a good luck charm, eh?